Good afternoon everyone, it's Steve KI5JUF. So I got a new, or this is the radio I have in my mobile. This is essentially a um, FTM300D. And what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of go through and look at some things on it. Uh, the one thing I wanted to show you is um, first and foremost, if you make any programming changes, the best way to do this is actually on uh, using the FTM uh, or RT system software. So what you do is this is where the SD card is kept and what will happen is when you remove the SD card you'll actually take this and you'll I have this reader on my laptop and I'll put it in and I'll actually write all the changes on the uh, SD card uh, from my laptop. So to put the SD card back in, say for example we just programmed it, we wrote the, downloaded the, or uploaded, downloaded the software to the SD card, we'll put it back in, it goes just like this, alright, just like this, now when you get it, just press it in, very simple. Now if you want to, uh, on the Yesu products, there's of course the function setup, which is pretty common in most Yesu uh, menuing structures. The first one gives you the quick memory function programming, and then the second one, if you hold it, takes you to a deeper uh, level. So what we want to do is we want to select the SD card, and now we're going to simulate uploading that program that we just built on our laptop. So select SD card, will be orange, press the button once, go to backup, and read from SD card. We want to read all the memory. So what it's doing here is it's actually going through and it's uploading all of the channel names and all the frequencies, all the offsets uh, and so forth. And it's uploading it in and then what will happen is when it's finished, it will actually reboot the radio, indicating that it's done. So now, once it's done, what I'll do next is we'll go through and I will just show you uh, some very very basic stuff. Uh, I'll show you how to do a simplex frequency. Now when it does reboot it's going to go into this uh, de default mode here with only VFOA showing. So if you want to fix that you just press the display and now we've got it we've got it in this mode and what we want to do is this is the display that's actually active at this time so we want to go over here and press uh, memory. Now we're in memory mode. So these are some of the repeaters I have in my radio, and I have uh, the local uh, t uh, club repeater, I've got a talk repeater, and I've also got a uh, digital narrow uh, simplex channel, I have this designated for digital narrow on this frequency of 146.460, then of course I have, uh, oops, I have a voice wide simplex that I use 146.480 and then of course we have the standard simplex. Uh, here's the second club repeater, uh, the KI5ZS repeater. Uh, this is the um, repeater for N5DUP. He has a, a patch to the Texas Nexus. So Clyde and Potosi and there's some repeaters in Dallas and of course here's the NTC, NCTC. Albany, Cato, Fort Worth, and Plano. So I can actually listen and talk to, talk to everyone via the Albany repeater all the way over to Dallas, Fort Worth. So, all right, what we'll do next, we're going to switch back to VFOA. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to press, uh, we're going to go to VFO mode. Now what we're going to do is we have to, to program a simplex frequency. What we'll do first, we'll press the F setup button. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, select function, and then we'll enter the function key by pressing the VFO button. And then what we'll do is we will rotate the upper right VFO over to squelch type, and we want to make sure that squelch type is off because we're programming a basic uh, simplex frequency. Now. We're going to press and hold. Of course, this is turned off. If it wasn't off, say for example, it was on, I would. Uh, press this until it actually showed off and that's where we want it right there. So we'll press the back button two times. Now what we'll do is we'll press, uh, now I need to go ahead and enter, enter the frequency which is I'm going to do this on the keypad. Now 
Now I want to make sure we're in the correct mode, which is FM, by pressing the DX. Digital narrow, digital narrow, voice wide, FM. Now when the line is above it, it's set for AMS, meaning it's automatic mode select. But we're going to put ours in, in FM, because that's uh, what we want to do. So now, what we'll do then is, with the frequency and the mode entered, press and hold the VM menu button. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the dial, and I'm going to actually put it in position 21. And you can see you've got 100 positions. You can go all the way to, I think, 500 or something. And we're going to stick him right there. Now, with that in that position right there, now what we're going to do is we're going to press the upper right dial knob and again to write the frequency. So let's try this. Let's press this once. Now we're going to write it. And now it's in there. So if I go back to my VFO mode, there it is, 21. That's the frequency we just entered. So now, let's enter uh, a program. Let's enter a repeater real quick. Now what we'll do then is to enter the repeater, we'll press the VM button to access the VFO mode. Now the repeater that we'll enter will be 146.760. So again, we'll go ahead and grab the microphone, and I'm going to enter 146.760, uh, is that it? Okay, then what we'll do now is after the frequency is entered, we will assign a plus or minus. Now, normally this radio knows if it's a plus or minus off offset. We'll press the DX button and verify we're in FM mode. Okay. Then what we'll do is to enter the tone in squelch, quickly press the F setup button. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select function, which it's already selected. And then the first thing we have to do is we have to select the squelch type. So now, there's squelch type selected. Now we want to enter tone. I believe the club repeater's tone squelch. So now what we do is then we press the upper right dial. Whoops. Then we have to go down to the next one. and we want to uh, press this and we'll set it for 146.2 that looks good so now we'll go back uh, let's press this again all the settings are in there so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and press the back button I believe it's twice yep and then we'll verify the frequency and shift we have a frequency of, of correct, we have a tone squelch, we have a minus shift. So what we'll do then is we'll press and hold the VM button again. Now we'll stick him in position number 22. Alright, so now you've just programmed you've just programmed a simplex frequency and a repeater frequency. Very, very easy to do. A couple other quick things about the radio is, uh, again, there's the AV button. So keep in mind, it is listening on both VFOs, but depending on which is brighter, for example, that's VFO A, this is VFO B. Now, you can always press the back button and get back if you're stuck. Uh, there's also a squelch tone that you can press this. Now, watch what happens. Oh, got to turn the wrong one. Well, I've got the tone squelch on on that particular one. So let's press back and let's go to um, well, let's go to VF, let's go to memory mode. Okay, back there now. I'm gonna put this guy in memory mode. There he is. So there's our. If I wanted to break the squelch, you could do this, and then of course hit back to clear it. Um, again, the main thing you need to know is quickly. This is where you get to your your quick set functions like report or power and so forth. Uh, if you go back and let's see, whoops, press and hold. This will take you so, to some other settings that you can actually look at. For example, you can look at uh, 
I think if you want to turn on voice wide you have to go here uh, and there it is right there uh, I've got it turned on but if you, you can also turn it off but it, it, it comes off when you purchase the radio so let's go back uh, what else we got here uh, scanning group monitoring wires X um, config data one thing that's pretty cool is you can actually um, record 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 conversation so if you press uh, a function and go down to record uh, let's see where is that yeah function you can actually record if you have an SD card in there and it'll actually record and you'll see the little light on now what it normally does is it only records when it hears activity you see it's in pause right now so if I press this again go here to function go here to stop it'll stop the recording so the radio also has this uh, let me turn it off here while I'm doing this uh, this has this little latch here that you can pull up and actually pull it out so it actually slides into this little like a holster almost so you can mount it this way or this way and again it just like I said it's almost like a like a holster uh, it, it's very very nicely designed and you just push it right back and you're good to go um, again that's the SD card right there this is the back of the radio it's got a T connector on it uh, cooling fan antenna um, this is the keypad that comes with it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the keypad that comes with it here. So, uh, again, it's it's a real nice radio. The head actually will detach. Uh, I think it's right here. The head will come off, and then you can remotely mount this. And there's some rem uh, mounting options that you can look at too. I just have my head attached because I have I have mine actually sitting just sitting on the front seat, so it's not a big deal. So. All right, well, that is the video on the FTM 300. It's kind of brief. Uh, the part two of this video will be actually programming the software and writing it to an SD card. So, anyway, I hope you find this video interesting. And uh, 73 from KF5JUF will uh, continue with part two here when we go to the computer. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.